EPA has released a port of data on PFAS contamination in our, our public water systems, uh, city water systems where they get their water system and private water system. That means if you have a well in your front yard, uh, depending on how deep your well goes, is you may have PFAS in your water system. And they were very surprised to find out something else. There's lithium in the water systems. Lithium, yeah, you know, your little batteries in your phones. Well, your batteries in your phones. Your lithium batteries in your computers and your uh, laptops. Yeah, those little round coin things. Um, car batteries. What do you mean car batteries? It seems that although they are sealed, there's lithium in drinking water in Chicago from Lake Michigan. And in some of the city groundwater systems, they find lithium. They're finding lithium in streams, uh, rivers. I guess it's in, improper disposal of lithium batteries. You know, oh, throw it in the garbage, flush it down the toilet. Yeah. It's, wow, there's natural lithium. Oh, no, no, no. Not at these levels. Not at these levels. Uh, it's people are throwing lithium away. Or well, they're not disposing of it the proper way. There, you know, there's battery disposal, but as drugs, they flush it down the toilet, which interacts with the uh, uh, the sewage treatment plants, which is oxidizing because a lot of chemicals cleans water also affects that thing. I believe chlorine is one of the effects of. Um, it rusts, and it's in the water systems. It's in the groundwater. It's in the air. Um, processing plants, or it's lithium processing plants. Well, it's like CO2, folks. Welcome to the real world. Hey, one of these days you won't have to buy something. You just put two probes in your mouth. You know, put one in your mouth, hold that left thing. And the light goes on. Huh. 